Hey everybody, Susie Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Today I want to talk about my goldfish. That's right, my goldfish. And I'm not talking about the goldfish that are out in my 2,000 gallon pond that are sound asleep right now in the bottom of the pond under all that ice. Look at this picture. Just little tiny aerated bubbles coming through. I'm going to trust that they're going to be fine. I'm not talking about those goldfish. I'm talking about my fancy goldfish that aren't out in the pond. More specifically, my black moor. My black moor is losing his black. What? I wanted to know why. So I did a little research. So come check out and see what I found out. When picking out goldfish, there's a couple things that you usually want to look at. You look at the shape. Do you want one with when, when you're picking out fancy goldfish? Do you like the coloration? Do you like the big when on the head? Do you like one with a dorsal fin without? I mean, these are all man-made goldfish. Some people don't like them at all. I happen to think they're adorable. I was introduced to them when I first came into the hobby from watching Solid Gold. So if you don't know Jenny at Solid Gold, she just started doing videos again. There's a link. She is very knowledgeable, way more knowledgeable than I am. But as I come up with a question, I do some research and want to find out the specific question. So today, my question is, why is my black moor losing its black? Where's it going? Is it something I'm doing? Is it something I can control? So I did a little research. And what I've come to find out is there's three basic scale types of a goldfish. There's metallic, there's matte, and there's calico. The matte scale, which is going to be a goldfish, very rare. We don't see it that often. It's pinkish, white, gray. We don't see it in the fish hobby a lot unless you're a breeder. Um, it's kind of devoid of color. That's the matte scale. The other scale is the necrosis, calico scale. And the calico scale, if it has black in it, that black is pretty stable. It may not be as rich as a metallic black, but it's pretty stable throughout the life. I'm going to talk about the metallic scale. So out of those three types of scales, we're going to talk about the metallic scale. And underneath that scale is a solid coat of guanine. So there's a solid coating of this guanine. The guanine is a crystalline pigment that refracts light. And the cells containing the guanine are called iridophores. That's the cell containing the guanines are called iridophores. I'm not doing a science class here, trust me. But that's what makes the scales kind of opaque and shiny in appearance. That's what attracted me to this fish. So when you got the red and black pigments that are overlaying the guanine, you would see a shiny red or shiny black. And if there's no other pigment color on top of this guanine, then you would see a shiny white or silver. So the metallic scale goldfish can be orange, red, white, yellow, black, metallic blue, bronze, or a variegated combination. They could all be a part of the metallic scale. A solid color metallic is called like a self-colored. We'll just call it a self-colored. I'm not sure why. The orange red self-colored is the most common. It's the most stable. It's also most affordable because it's the most prominent in goldfish. The variegated pattern of red and white is the second most common. And those, sta those colors are fairly stable. Can still change, but they're fairly stable. Okay, during the first few weeks of their life, they all have that wild color, like that greenish bronze. Do you ever see it when you, when some of the feeder fish, the younger feeder fish all have that? That's produced from a combination of the red, yellow, black pigments. Later at the age of about three months, the metallic scale goldfish undergo the process of demelanization. During this process, first the amount of black pigment intensifies and the overall appearance becomes very dark. Then the melanin is destroyed, leaving only the red and yellow pigment cells behind. The end result is an orange, red, or red and white variegated color. Black goldfish, though, undergo the first part of the demelanization process and the amount of their black pigments increased. However, the black goldfish 
don't always undergo the second part of the demelinization process for several years. So the black goldfish go through the first part of the process of demelinization and get all that deep, rich, dark color, but they don't go through the second part where they lose all that color. And the very first black goldfish was the black moor. Now the gene for the black moor is strongly tied to the telescopic eyes, and most of them have a lighter color on their belly which mine did when I got them. It was like a bronzy, now that I know, wild color, a little bit of belly color. And the ones with the lighter color on the belly are more likely to lose their black. They're susceptible to the completion, the, the second part of the process that happens later in life. So even though they didn't lose their black in the first couple, the, the first couple months like all the other goldfish, as they progress in life around two, three years, and they can continue that the second part of that process then starts and the black starts changing. The black starts going away, being destroyed, and the orange red color starts coming out. And that's exactly what happened to my Missy Moore. Look at these pictures. By the age of three, she started to lose her black. Now, some are genetically inclined to only lose black in some parts of the body and not others. Those would be like the panda goldfish. The red and black are the tricolored, those with metallic scales, the tricolor telescope. And there's no guarantee that the rest of the black is going to stay the black because that process can, could continue and the black pigments can continue to be destroyed and your fish can change color. So you buy this goldfish that's beautiful, metallic scales with black on it and then you just it's exactly what you're looking for. Just know it could change. The melanin or the, the black pigment is found either in the central part of the cells or throughout the cell. And a fish can kind of control whether it's in the center part of the cell or not. So, which would account for why like uh, they might change the richness of their black depending on light out, whether it's dark out, the substrate, the background, whether they're in a good mood, bad mood. <laughs> that The intensity of the black the fish has some, some kind of control over that part. So I was gonna go into the other kinds of scales, but I'll save that for another video. Right now, I just wanted to find out why is my black moor no longer black moor? Let me tell you another thing about black moors. They are beautiful and adorable, but sometimes they have a hard time focusing on their food. So you wanna keep them in an aquarium with maybe some other uh, fish that have a hard time or aren't as fast like some of the orandas or the lion heads where they kind of wobble instead of swim um, because look at this clip this food palette is falling right in front of Missy and this little baby fish from behind sees it comes swoops in grabs it before she even knows there's food there so I have pampered her her whole life to make sure that she is fed because look at this is how they grew up. This is in their when they started off in the 20 long. Now I no longer have the, the lion head. But all the other goldfish have been fine. I added some more baby orandas, baby orandas and fantails from my local fish club. So that that satiated my quest for finding out why is my black moor not black anymore? Why is my black moor not black anymore? <laughs> so I don't know if you've ever had that question, but I certainly had this question and I needed an answer. So I hope you found this as fascinating as I did. My goldfish, I really do like them. I would never put these goldfish outside in my 2000 gallon pond with my goldfish that are 10 inches big or my koi because they'd never be able to fight for the food. They, it just, they just wouldn't make it, but I would put them in an outside summer tub so thanks for checking out my Blackmore and at least knowing now why my Blackmore needs more black. Thanks for checking out my video and I will see you next time.